you are not your code. The idea is that when you give feedback on the code, you should really keep the feedback on the code and not the person. The reality is that whether you're intern or you're a staff engineer, every single person can write bad code. And in fact, every person does write bad code, either because not because they wanted to, but they just may not have the context or they may not have, they have different assumptions about what should happen. And so your job as a reviewer is not to critique the person, to it is to critique the code. And remember that as you critique the code, that is really how engineering culture gets built. You have to do code review in a way such that it actually is additive to the team and the company that you want to work at. And I think Alex is a really good example of this in the next slide. But the idea is that you want to have a healthy discussion, a positive discussion about what you want to achieve with your product or your, your feature, whatever you're working on. And that's a shared goal that you have. One tactic I, I, I typically use is try and end every code review comment with a question mark. That's a really powerful way of using tentative language to not say, hey, you did this wrong. Instead of saying it like that, say like, hey, have you considered this other approach? And, and usually that, that, that gets the message across that, hey, you probably could consider this other way, like do this other thing without it sounding so harsh. So here we have an example. And uh, again, unfortunately, the, the before is something I've seen you know, more than I want to, which is more, more than zero. Uh, you know, as a software engineer, your goal is to, to get things done. A lot of engineers, their immediate instinct is, I'm going to be efficient. I'm just going to be straight to the point and just like, just be like, hey, this is wrong. That kind of drive for efficiency, it makes sense. But you have to remember, again, empathy is, is the name of the game here. That oftentimes will come across as, as terse, as rude, as careless, right? And, and it can make the author of the diff, especially if they're earlier in career or just like new to the team, feel pretty, pretty bad. <laughs> and that's not what you want to do. Cause again, you want to build culture, right? You want every new, every person on the team, you know, new or you know, tenured to, to feel as welcome as, as possible. And this is also compounded by, uh, you know, unfortunately I've seen a lot of senior engineers leave comments similar to the top where like being a senior engineer, becoming a senior engineer is very difficult. So, you know, they, they feel like, you know, they've earned this, uh, this ability to, to be more straightforward and essentially play a more word of God type role and then they you know they, they just don't use tentative language they just you know just point things out like hey this is wrong you know i and because they, they're thinking like i know more than you so i'm just going to kind of show show you know that more superior knowledge here so like it, as we can see in this like before scenario it fails like all these kind of litmus tests that Rahul and i described um did you even test this again you're attacking the author not the code you're essentially implying that, you know, they don't care about the quality of their code. They don't test their code. Again, there's no tentative language. Like he just declaratively announces like, hey, you missed this important thing. So essentially just saying that, hey, you're again, you're essentially saying they're a bad software engineer. Like, you know, they suck. And then I, there's even like this thing at the end, which is, you know, which is a terrible user experience. You know, the entire app crashes. Like obviously if the entire app crashes, it's a bad user experience. So they're just kind of rubbing it in at, at this point and just like really kind of kind of beating a dead horse. And, and here's the thing, your goal on code review is not to be right. Your goal with any discussion is actually not to be right. Your goal with any discussion is essentially to find a good outcome that makes all parties happy and to build culture, right? So even if this person is right, which, which they actually likely are, especially if they're a senior engineer, it doesn't matter. This is a really terrible, terrible code review comment. It's just, again, it's just very destructive and that's not where you want to be. So if we go to the after state, you know, we, we changed pretty much the entire comment. Again, it doesn't reference the person directly in a negative way. It focuses more on the code and it starts off you know, with something nice. In, in this example, the code will handle most of the cases, but then it just feels like it's maybe five or 10% edge case. Again, it's not declarative, it's, it's tentative. So when you're doing any code review or just I don't, honestly doing anything, you know, we're interacting with teammates, assume that you can be wrong because you can be wrong. So my mentality is I never assume I'm hundred, like there's a hundred percent chance of me being correct at most is 99.9. .9, right. And there's still that 0 0.1 and you have to acknowledge it. So even if you like read, read the code and you're like, and you, you've read it five times and you're like, absolutely sure that it is wrong. You shouldn't talk like that. Right. You should still acknowledge that 0 0.0001% chance that you may be wrong. And this is reflected in this code review comment. And it's also like more immediately helpful. Cause like the, the point of the first comment is obviously just to like, rag on the person but in, in the second in the second comment it's you know it actually points out the the line of code that may be breaking um so it's like actually trying to help the person as opposed to just putting them down and as rahul mentioned it ends with a question mark you're kind of opening the door right and then just kind of like opening the door trying to get them to like you know seeing this more value and adding more value to their dip as opposed to just kind of 
effectively burning the bridge between you and them and then slapping them. 